Hey, I am Mike the Zorch, and it's been a while since I've done a vlog video. Uh, the last video I did, I talked about uh, putting my content on library, and I have been putting a few videos up there. Uh, nothing new recently. Uh, I have put a, a couple of uh, Gamers Bay videos up there. I pulled some stuff from Gamers Bay and put them up there. Uh, also put some of my own up there. I'm going to be doing more of that and any new videos that I make are also going to be mirrored to library as well. Uh, one, the subject I wanted to talk about today is uh, there will be certain content that will only be on library. There are certain things that will not be here on YouTube and there, there's many reasons why the biggest reason is copyright abuse. Uh, when I speak of copyright abuse, it is corporations have way too much power to control freedom of expression and curtail fair use on YouTube, and it's morally wrong. Morally wrong. I, I don't. I am. I'm not advocating stealing people's intellectual property. I'm not advocating that. You know, if you're uploading a video with a song in it, and all it is is just a static image with the song in it, you're uploading that video with the express purpose of sharing that song without paying for it. That would be no different than, you know, uploading music on BitTorrent. You know, and without, without really paying, without without the creators of the song getting any money for it. It's, it's basically the same thing. But if someone made a video and the express purpose of the video was not just the sharing of the song. The song is just happens to be in the video and that song is not that 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 no not the song but the video is not being commercially sold if it's just a free video that's online and the purpose of the video is not to share the song but just to use the song as a backdrop for what you're making like the the music for this video which comes from the YouTube YouTube music library which are m mostly music you can use without fear of copyright although that hasn't stopped some people from claiming copyright on those songs illegally but there are there are certain content that is very hard to make videos for on YouTube because corporations have way way too much power to um, limit your free expression limit your fair use rights which should be enforced, which are part of copyright law and should be enforced, but they're not. YouTube is really dropping the ball on this. Yes, there is the DMCA, and the DMCA has been, been the worst thing to ever happen to culture and free expression, and it's, it's awful. It's a very bad law. It was created as a knee-jerk reaction to file sharing where and file sharing was a result of you know of a distribution problem of music not being made easily available now times have changed Me, you know movies and music are readily available online so there hasn't been you know the Stream, you know, downloading stuff has not been as bad, but you had situations where record companies were suing grandmothers and single mothers and forcing them to pay tens of thousands, even hundreds of thousands, and making treating them worse than murderers for up for downloading a song. For downloading a song, you get treated worse than a murderer, and that was 
wrong. It was morally wrong, and the way copyright is used now, the way the DMCA is used now, the way it's abused to stifle, com stifle um, dissent, the way it's being used to quiet people who have certain opinions or or who are making reviews that are, you know, if you make a product, someone reviews it, and they don't review it favorably. Um, there are companies that have abused the DMCA in order to pull those videos down. Technically, that should be illegal, and most of the time they get away with it, because the average person doesn't have money to fight these big corporations in court because the corporations can just send in their big expensive lawyers and basically pound you into the dirt. Now, now library does still have to follow the DM, DMCA like everybody else, but they're not going to, you know, implement some kind of content ID system like YouTube has, and they absolutely do not censor. So I feel that it's safer to put certain content on library than it is here on YouTube. And so there will be some things that will go there and some things that will stay here. Um, and it's one, one of the main reasons why I really haven't been doing any of the anime stuff. I haven't been flagged for it. And it's why I haven't been using any anime clips. I've been us using still images. And moving over to library, I might start using, um, I might start using short snippets of clips and stuff for that. That's one of the primary things that I will be putting over there on library is an old otaku will go there on library instead of here on YouTube. When I start that back up, that'll go there. Uh, There's some other things that I'm looking at. There's uh, some. There's a VR tool for making videos, similar to how I make Chloe and the Professor. I, depending on what the content is, I may not put it on YouTube at all, because I don't feel that this environment is safe for it because you know I'm not going to be producing political content but YouTube's been going after everybody anything that even slightly smells of anything that's not liberal they attack it they try to take it down they try to hurt you in some way and that's wrong that is 100% wrong. And so that's just the way it is. Uh, if I have to stop putting certain... I'm not going to stop making the content that I want to make just because they will have a stick up their ass over me, you know over me not accepting that there's two or three dozen genders or that I am not um, that I'm not embracing their agenda not gonna happen period not going to happen they're not going to make me I'm simply not gonna put that content here I'll put other stuff here but not that. And I will, I will announce that I do have stuff. I will announce in Twitter and on the communities on MeWe. You know, if, it's, if it's gaming stuff, it'll be in Gamers Bay. If it's not gaming stuff, it'll be either on my timeline. I will post public on MeWe and I will post on Twitter. Uh, I will not be posting anything to Facebook. Facebook is cancer. But, um, that's the way it's gotta be. 
because YouTube doesn't want us. Doesn't they don't want us? The content creators who made this platform what it is, they don't want us anymore. They want legacy media. They want NBC, CBS, MSNBC. They they want that stuff. And that's the stuff that we came to YouTube to get away from. From 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 that so-called mainstream content. We came to YouTube. We came to the internet to get away from that. And YouTube became as big as it is because it offered what they were refusing to give. What they were refusing to give us. And now YouTube wants to embrace that, thinking that that's where they want to go, that's what they want to have. So they're 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 in the process of Disneyfying, Disneyfying YouTube, scrubbing it clean, and on top of that, they have a political agenda. So they're attacking people for their political beliefs. So if if you even slightly smell of being a Trump supporter, they will they'll hurt you in some way. And so they don't want us. They don't want us. And fine. You don't want us. We don't want you. So as I said. I'll keep some content here and other stuff that I feel is just too dangerous to put on YouTube because of the way it is will not go here. It'll go in library. Like an old otaku and some other stuff that I'm currently thinking about uh, producing. Because there, there's, as I said, there's some stuff that I found that uses VR that allows for the creation of videos. I've still got to figure out how it works and find out exactly what I can create with it. But it looks extremely processing. Promising. Looks really promising. It, it, it's, it looks like it's capable of doing things I only dreamed of being able to do with Plotagon. And there are ways of importing your own, your own uh, models into their environment, and it's easy to use. Uh, there's also some other tools that I've been given, um, but I understand that they are a lot harder to work with. Uh, it's some of the Miku Miku stuff, where you can, up, you can import models. I would have to have models made, and I would have to figure out how it works. Um, I was going to use... Um, I was going to use the very powerful source filmmaker but that's way complicated a lot more complicated than I than I thought it was anyway that's the point of the video today say there's some content that I will be making for this channel that will not be on YouTube that will be exclusive the library and if you want to see that content, you'll have to join Library. Library is a decentralized media sharing service that uses the same kind of blockchain technology that you see from cryptocurrency. Blockchain is merely a different is merely a different kind of database. It is a database where it is stored in multiple locations multiple places. Each client application for library stores a stores a copy of the blockchain. It's just basically a text based database so it's not a very big file and the application runs an algorithm that um, comes up with a hat that, that it's sort of a lottery 
where you have to guess a hash number. And the client application that guesses this hash number gets to add a block to the blockchain. The block is an entry to the database. And the way the blockchain works is it doesn't overwrite information on the database. It appends information to the database. So if I uploaded a video, let's say I upload the video, but I didn't like the title. So I go back and I edit the title to the video. Well, the blockchain will have the original edit, but then it'll have an appended block that says, oh, he changed the title to this. And so you'll be able to look back and you can you can look back through the, the database and see all the changes that were made. Now, if I changed the video description and changed the title, or even if I deleted the video, you'll still be able to see the references to the video in the blockchain. And that's how blockchain works. And and what mining is in, in context to cryptocurrency, what mining is is not generating coins. It's in taking turns adding blocks to the database that's all mining is you're basically a, a a cryptocurrency miner is basically a transaction processor you're processing a transaction and you're adding a block to the database and the reason why the database is spread out over multiple machines is because that's for security because all the databases check each other and they say okay do we match do we have the same data yes okay good because blockchains are very secure because you would have to hack multiple locations at once in order to uh, hack the system that's why it's distributed like that across multiple machines. It, this is an extremely, this may not be a completely 100% accurate description. It's an, also an over oversimplification of it, but it's very secure. It's, it's very uh, resistant to hacking. That's what makes library extremely resistant to censorship in that it's not easy to take content off of the service. There, there are mechanisms in place if there are legal reasons to take content down. Like if someone posts CP. There are you know, mechanisms for that, but they have to be legal reasons. They have to be legal reasons with a court order. Otherwise, no deal staying where it is so that's this makes library extremely resistant to censorship where stuff can't be pulled down and because the users myself and you if you join library you're part owner of library you you're the one who decide what happens on the platform and so nothing happens without your permission you know they the company that runs library can't just make decisions on their own they can't just say oh we're gonna do this we're gonna do that without you having a say and that's what I really like about them so again, that was the reason why I wanted to do this video, to say that uh, some, some of my content will not appear on YouTube. It will be stuff that I will only put on library because I don't feel that, li that YouTube is a safe place anymore for certain content. Uh, and that's a shame. That's a real shame. And there will be a reckoning one day. There will be. Uh, YouTube and Google are gonna really wish they had never done any of this they're gonna seriously wish they hadn't they're gonna wish they hadn't anyway I've been Mike Dezorch and I'll see you guys next time